Now for the straight workflow, we are going to generate and to use the basic parameter first. You need to go to description and click on set a straight percentage. Here, you are going to be able to define the amount of hairs that you want to be affected by the straight expression. This is the basic workflow that you can use. The only part that is not that great is that the straight expression is going to be for all the modifiers. So if you want to set different uh, percentage for all the noises or the stray or the, the other noises grabs another percentage of error, you're going to need to use a different expression that we're going to see on the next one. For this, for the basic expression, we are going to set the value of 15% of hairs to be affected. And you can see here this expression that you need to call to define the amount. So I'm going to be here and that it's going to work as a mask kind of sorts because it's going to rewrite the mask because it's going to tell. Here in frequency, I'm going to open straight, open and close parentheses just as the reference. And the first number that you're going to put, it's the amount of hair that are under the stray. So the amount of hair that are strays, I'm going to use a frequency of 0.20. Now two points. And after that, you point, you have to put the amount of frequency that is not going to be affected by the stray. So the hairs that are not a stray. So I want a zero frequency just to see the difference and hit apply. Uh, why I have an error. Let's see. So zero here. Oh, I forgot to add my sign. I, you need to add this sign to tell the actual stray command or expression that this is how it works. So this one is going to define one by one and hit apply. And now you can see the actual noise here. And after that, some hairs are affected. If I change the frequency of the stray hairs to a value of 20, you're going to see that just some of the values are going to randomly work and it's going to be quite scraggly. You can see them here, but it's the same 20%. If I hit apply and close this one and I change the set stray percentage, you're going to be able to affect less or more hair because that is controlled by this amount. So if I go to 50%, I'm going to control 50% of the hair, as you can see here. So I'm going to keep with 20. And now I'm going to do the same for the magnitude. So let's put the same to so a stray and sign. And now I want the hairs that are stray to be affected by a magnitude of 10. And the hairs that are not strays, I want to be affected by a magnitude of 0.2, quite a low magnitude. So it's going to have a noise with that two values. And you can see here how everything is extremely crazy. And some of them are just randomly moving away because a value of 20, of 10, it's quite hard. So a value of one and hit apply just for the strays. And you can see that the value is much better. Let's put a value of two affecting just the strays. And now let's reduce the actual magnitude or the actual uh, frequency to a value around two. You should be able to see a um, better behavior around here. So maybe 0.2 as we had it before. And now you can see how just some of them are moving. And if I want to be able to see more Let's put a magnitude of strain of 10. It's going to move them quite high away. So let's go back to a magnitude of five. You can control quite nice how they work. And the only part that is not that good of this kind of workflow is that if you want to add a new noise and to add different percent of strays for that noise, you're not going to be able to because you depend on the set straight percentage. So if you change here, even if you have another noise, it's always going to change on both. So for the next lesson, we are going to see how to make this same workflow, but to have different percentage for everything. And see you on the next one.